more than 600 thinking caps were put to the test in this year's Windstorm Challenge to see who would be awarded the best designed offshore wind platform. We asked students from all over the state of Maine, middle and high school to design their own platforms. So they're for floating wind turbines and they bring them up here to Orno and they test them in our W2 basin. Participants were tasked with constructing a floating platform out of recyclable materials that could hold a turbine and float in the water upright for a short period of time without falling over. While this is a challenge, Ward says it's also about inspiring the next generation to make a difference in a sustainable way. Floating offshore wind is, is a, a hot topic here in Maine right now. It's an industry that we absolutely need to keep building, and there is not any workforce yet in Maine. And that's this is who this is. This is the workforce in Maine. These are our, our next generation professionals in the floating offshore wind space. Students we spoke to say they're excited to help engineer solutions to the challenges posed by climate change. It's the first step into actual engineering. Like this is something that actual engineers are doing and we are actually part of this. So it's really interesting to sort of be part of that and get our first experiences. It's just something to put out there. It's going to be new um, and it's going to help the environment in a lot of different ways depending on what type of resources you're going to be using. The winning middle school teams will be awarded with 3D printed trophies based on their performances. However, there can only be one winning high school team. Not only will they receive a trophy, but they'll be guaranteed a four-year internship with the University of Maine's Advanced Structures and Composites Center. In Orno, Matthew Jaroncic reporting for ABC7 and Fox 22 News.